community. No, not the American comedy television series created by Dan Harmon at <laughs> that aired on NBC and Yahoo. I meant the feeling of fellowship with others as a result to sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. It's the strength that we need to keep ourselves going. Humans are greater in numbers, but when the entire world is staying indoors and away from one another, how can we continue to come together? We can utilize tools around us, whether it's Zoom or Google Hangouts, Meet, FaceTime, or holographic teleportation or whatever, <laughs> to connect with friends and family all over the world in an instance. There was a post going around um, on social media asking what would, what would we each be doing under our current circumstances a century ago, referring to the 1918 flu pandemic. They didn't have all the technology we have available today. If you're tuning into this podcast, you're probably realizing how easy it was to hear me share my thoughts with you. And we're all very fortunate enough to remain socially connected, even when we're on our own. I wanted to discuss this topic with my sister, Natasha Lowe. She's a student taking online classes and she manages a very entertaining account on Instagram called Bachelor Commentary, where she shares her hilarious commentary on shows from the popular Bachelor franchise. <laughs> Hello? Hello, hey. So I wanted to talk to you about using social media and being online and how that can just, else to do. that's the point. But people who aren't really, like, I I don't have a television and, I mean, I have a television, but I don't have cable. I don't watch TV. You act like you don't have Netflix, Hulu. I have Netflix, access to that, but login. I do I not, my Showtime login. I don't watch TV, I still don't watch. I have the HBO login that I can't <laughs> Yes. So, and I have, yeah, so I have internet, I have all those things, but I'm not used to being indoors and watching it. I, I have never, I don't even, the only show that I've ever watched all the way through was X-Files. That's the only show. There's no other show that I've watched every single episode of. I'm not a person that sits down and just watches television show after television show. What? Smallville. Smallville. That's the other, the only other one. <laughs> Uh, and that's only because you kept me going on that. The only yeah. one that I kept up myself on purpose was The X-Files because I purposely wanted to That might it. be another reason. That might be a totally different reason of why. That was my girl's love. Julian. What's her name? Julian Anderson. Julian Anderson, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Well, one thing I did see on Twitter today, and I feel like this is going to kind of go into what you were talking about, was um, um, somebody had a TikTok on Twitter, and it was like millennials trying to infiltrate their way into TikTok. They're like, you know, you, you've been clowning it and laughing at all the Gen Z kids for doing TikTok. But you know that that, uh, that sound of that girl um, on the Little People Atlanta or whatever that show was mm -hmm. like, hey, people like get a little upset just the notifications all the time or whatever but I think now is the time to kind of just start clicking on them just check out what people are doing because oh, yeah. like a really good one I saw was Russell Wilson and Sierra they were talking about their marriage and their love and their five years together and I'm like this little story I was like in it and like they were talking about faith and their faith together and I'm like I'm not really a religious person but I was invested I they had two hours of a live and I watched all of it <laughs> like, it's just, it's like random stuff that I probably wouldn't have just watched, you know. Like Miley Cyrus has a, um, her lives every Monday through Friday. I try to check in, but she records them put them on YouTube as well. So if you need to pause it, but I'm just like watching random stuff. Like last night, why I was so tired? I'm watching um, chiropractors crack people's backs. <laughs> and I'm doing yoga. I don't ever do yoga, and I'm over here doing yoga for my lower back because I threw it out trying to do a TikTok the other day. And so. <laughs> Trying to 
get this thing going. But I feel better today. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I would have never done yoga. I need to get me a mat. I think you might have a mat in your closet. I might but, have one, yeah. But I'm out here doing stretches. I like, yeah, those back cracking things. Just random stuff. I told you the other day I was watching Florence Pugh make better not squash soup <laughs> at 3 in the morning. Like, it's like I have nothing to do, but there's everything to do. And that's the problem. <laughs> Like, why am I up at 2 in the morning watching a chiropractor crack some ladies back with carpal tunnel? Oh. And I know we'll start. <laughs> leave this conversation, please, because I'll go down and feel. Please be controlled. Okay. <laughs> so let's let's cycle back to some of the questions. <laughs> I do want to keep this. This is how all of our conversations go. Yes. <laughs> I did want to cycle back and ask you a couple questions about how you're utilizing online conferencing right now. Because I know you're you're a student right now. You're learning ASL of all things, where you have to be <laughs> you have to be visual. Like, how are you yes. coping with this? Like, how are you, like what are some? Um, yeah. I I wish it was a like if it was a class like um, history or something that that depends on like PowerPoints. I think that it would be a little bit easier because then you have the PowerPoints that the teacher gave you um, that's detailed. You might have a, a, a textbook or something. With ASL, it's kind of hard because, um, I mean, I don't know if everybody, like, they might not have taken a, uh, like a ASL class or a language class. Imagine trying to take a French class and you don't know how things are pronounced or how things are said and... And you're just expected to, to learn this on your own and then take a test online. Um, I couldn't even understand. I don't know how. I guess you could do like a French test. They would just like talk to you in French and then you have to either answer the question or write what they said. So that's kind of how it was for ASL. But it's hard because we have a book, which I have right here. We have a book, but it's so hard to understand what the signs are supposed to be because there's like arrows and stuff, but I need to see it. And when you're in class, in ASL class, the teacher teaches you more than what the book is. When you don't have that extra, like, you know, like class time from the teacher, it's hard to like learn the actual words. I feel like I'm learning less now and it which sucks. I kind of just wish I just like dropped it, but I really want to learn. Um, so it, it sucks. I took a test Thursday, um, and so she signs it, and then we're supposed to answer the questions. Mm-hmm. And then, like, we were supposed to do deaf events where you go out with um, in, a, in a public space with deaf people, mm-hmm. and um, whether it's, like, um, an expo or a coffee night or whatever. But now, because we're in quarantine, we can't do that, so we had to watch a film. So I watched that last night some like death silent film which was cool and it was a good movie but it's not the same to interact with you know I learned a few signs from it but like you learn so much more when you're in it like you have to sign with people you can't you know I'm writing in English what I thought of the movie that's not the same yeah so it sucks but you know we're using zoom um if we have problems you know we talk to her or we sign to her so you have to have it on your computer so you can see her and pin mm-hmm. her video um uh so you can make her you know pin it so you make it her bigger and then um sign back so you have that but it's just it's just hard because i have because we have such a big class she usually just um does like five or six people at a time mm-hmm. Instead of like the whole thirty-five people or whatever we have in our class, so it's, it's different. It's different. I, I feel very disconnected from my like other classmates, and and um, it's hard because that's how I gauged how I was learning. Yeah, how people are signing. Do I know what the, what's going on? You know, asking people. I have like a few people. Actually, I think I have one girl's number. I don't have anybody else because I missed the first day. So I know her number but like so there's a lot of I don't know I feel like I'm very disconnected from the class yeah. which sucks but like these websites actually are connecting other people like I was talking to my friend yesterday I think it was yesterday talking about <clears throat> talking about how zoom and facetime and whatever you're using um instagram lives are at, actually connecting more people and she's like well I like want to do I want to do face to face I like face to face and I was like yeah you do like face to face but like she went on a birthday party she went she went to someone's birthday party through 
I guess, Zoom or whatever those oh, apps you use. That's really cool. Um, it was a surprise party. But she's like, yeah, I wish I was there. Yeah, of course. But imagine that person was having a surprise party in there in New York and you're in California. Yeah. Now you can join. Yeah. Now you can go because this situation. So there's a lot of positives that I think people are using. I think for me, because I've been at home and employed for a little bit, I feel very, very, no, for real, yeah. I feel very, very disconnected. I'm going to get real and honest. I've been very, very disconnected, I feel like, from people who I used to work with, friends that I used to hang out with out there, family or whatever, because I stay very secluded here. So it's pretty much the same as quarantine. But the only dis- difference is now governments tell me I got to stay home. Um, now I want to stay home because I ain't trying to get sick. You know, like, so there's other things, so it, it makes it a little bit more of a burden on me to stay home than me just wanting to stay home or just watch TV or whatever, hang out, whatever I was doing before. Um, but I feel a little bit more connected because, like, I've been bugging you, and I try not to bug you too much, but I've bugging you and calling you on FaceTime every day. I've got another friend that she ain't doing nothing. I'm going to call her out. She was making lemonade yesterday. <laughs> and so, like, she, like, you know, and, like, there's that meme. I'm going to keep on talking about memes because I'm a young millennial. Mm-hmm. But uh, that meme, they're, like, you get on face you you get on FaceTime with your friend, but you got nothing to say. So you're like, so um, that's it. Like, you got to do. It's literally like, what do you got planned today? And I said nothing. <laughs> and we just talking about damn lemonade and whatever the situation would mm-hmm. be. Like we're not talking about anything. Like, yeah. But we need it to feel connected. So I feel like because these extroverted people who are used to being with each other all the time, that they're struggling. You need to use these resources to stay connected because I know that I know for sure. And I've noticed that these extroverts people who, who need to be in nature, need to be around people to get their energy. If they don't have their energy, they're, you know, going to feel depressed, sad, whatever, like confused, mm-hmm. scared in the time. Um, so they need to like rely on and get some tips from some of these introverted people who are used to being in the house. <laughs> Um, but, also use, but also use these um, these tools to not feel disconnected. Use these FaceTimes. Um, even when I'm just like by myself watching someone's Instagram live, you don't have to comment in their thing. And you can read the comments and you can just watch it. You feel like you're having a conversation whether you're not or not, you know, whatever the situation may be. But you feel a little bit connected because everybody, once you realize that, everybody is feeling lonely right now. No matter if they're with their family or you're, by your, you're quarantined by yourself. Everybody's feeling lonely, so you need to feel connection however you can. So if that's just um, you doing your own Instagram live and you got one friend in there, because I'm about to do it. I'm going to have me and one friend, hey, Instagram live, <laughs> live and one friend in there that left. I'm going to still feel some sort of connection. Yeah. You know? yeah. FaceTime, if you're doing group message, FaceTime, do what you need to do to feel uh, connected and know that, and this is for me too, but know that you're not burning any, burdening anybody. These people feel disconnected too. So reach out. Um, if it's not just, if you are, I think a lot of people are scared of FaceTime. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people are now um, feeling a little bit more at ease They're with it. Because, into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I always, I mean, not I always, no, that's not true. I like I like call. I realize I like calling people lately mm-hmm. um, before the quarantine because I didn't. I like texting. This seems so distant. It does. I'm not yeah. a fan of texting or whatever. Um, but calling because then I can do what I want to do and I'm just talking. It's still connecting. My friend was like, "Well, I need to see your face and focus on it." But I'm like, "I'm still listening to you. I'm still talking to you." Um, it's just different now because we used to call on the phone, and if I'm cooking dinner or doing something you didn't know but now yeah. we're on facetime and mm-hmm. you know i'm cooking but like i'm listening to you that's you know how people do it i don't know so it's really mm-hmm. cool i think this is a cool you know time i think that we are going to interact with people differently now after this is over which is really cool because i know hopefully people know that once this party is over i'm not gonna stop facetiming <laughs> uh, whoops this is just open the floodgates with me so rona started I something <laughs> I literally posted on my Instagram, you know, when I put it on my Instagram, I said, FaceTime available, like FaceTime appointments available. Like, I want people to come, like, and so some people actually hit me up. They're like, when when you got appointments open? Like, they really was trying to, you know, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And so, like, um, me and one of my friends, um, we were just like, we didn't have nothing to do. And she was like, oh, do you want to watch a comedy show together? And we ended up just watching um, Freaky Friday together. So we just played at the same time. 
and you know and she's we're facetiming so you can see each other but yeah. we're also watching that and that's like that's like that's cute you know <laughs> and we're watching a movie together um and you know we're having we're talking or whatever and it's it's cool it's cool and it's fine if they're like texting too you know mm-hmm. you know when they're pausing it's fine but you're still you can still hear each other um I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I feel a little bit connected to people that I felt like I disconnected with mm-hmm. a little bit. So I think that's cool. Um, yeah, no, I, I really like that you brought that up. Like right now, I've been busy even while I'm at home. Like I've been scheduling yeah. things out during the day, doing stuff like this where I'm, you know, FaceTiming people, I'm on Google Hangouts and FaceTiming, whatever. And then I'm also, a few people on the East Coast are scheduling time to do, you know, yoga classes. We're doing readings together. We're mostly just drinking online and FaceTiming. Yeah, she still hasn't sent me that email. So I, I will, oh my God. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we'll send, we'll send you that link. We'll invite you to stop. Uh, literally, the Q twenty six the other day had um, an online mic night. They did an open mic night. I couldn't join because I was doing one of these. But you know, I'm yeah. It's it's a really cool time to really connect with people. I'm seeing so so many more people face to face. And, and talking to so many more people like every day, more than I would so normally, where I would just go to work, I would see those work people and I'd come home and I would, may or may not, you know, talk to you and Jenna and, and that was it. And now, like, I'm seeing all these friends who are all over the world, like, nearly every day, you know? Yeah. So it's. Because everybody's bored. Everybody's that's bored. Why I like that's the I'm taking out of this is because I was the only one that was bored in this situation. <laughs> now other people are bored and they're willing to talk to me. <laughs> so I'm like, yes. Like, I hate that this situation is going on. Yeah. And like, people are losing their lives. People are getting sick. Uh, people are losing money. And I, I don't take that lightly. But I understand that this is like a time that people are now just trying to connect. And people realize how much they need connection to survive and to to get energy and to be happy and to just function in the world. A lot of people just like go, 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 go. They're at work. They're doing this. And they don't realize that every interaction with somebody is actually helping them get through the day. Whether it's positive or negative, you need some sort of interaction. You know what I mean? Like you can have someone, a coworker that you don't like and that was negative. But you need to interact with people. So um, that was really, that's really good. And I, I, I think that that's great. And um, don't be afraid to make a TikTok. Yeah, just make a TikTok. <laughs> you know, this is your time to start your YouTube channel. This is the time to start your TikTok. This is the time to do your podcast. This is the time to do, you know, those things and that you were, you know, cliche that you were, you know, putting off that, mm-hmm. because, you know, you're nine to five or whatever the situation may be or you don't have time to do something. Now you feel like you have more time to do these things. I think that that's, it's, 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 it's cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, y'all. Follow me um, on Bachelor Commentary on Instagram, where I do Bachelor updates. Um, I do live commentary of the Bachelor when it's on. Um, in this Bachelor Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise, I'm gonna do the the um, Follow Your Heart is a new one. They're gonna do. I think they're gonna do summer games, depending on the quarantine. Um, so I do all of that. I do memes. And updates and all that other stuff about the Bachelor, so follow that. Um, I have I'm Natasha Low on Instagram, Natasha Low fifty five on TikTok. So if you want to see uh, me do uh, what I do summaries of movies, I did Holes, Mean Girls, uh, Bridesmaids, which was good. Watch me embarrass myself. <laughs> I do some. I might do some TikTok dances. Mm-hmm. So look out for that. Um, get yourself a Twitter because Twitter is where it's at too because mm-hmm. that's where you can keep yourself sane. Thanks for listening to the Jazz About Nature podcast. Check out the show notes for more information on any of the things talked about on the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.